imagine a peaceful day as ordinary as any other when suddenly chaos erupts. Picture the serene life of the Israeli people, men and women tending to the fertile soil, harvesting the fruits of their labor. The sun is shining, casting warm rays on the land. Children are playing in the fields, their laughter echoing in the air. Meanwhile, in the cities, architects and engineers are busy constructing the future, each brick a symbol of progress and prosperity. The hum of machinery, the bustle of workers, the rhythm of a nation in harmony with itself, a sense of normalcy, a sense of peace. Families gather around the dinner table, sharing stories and laughter. Soldiers off-duty blend into the crowd, their uniforms the only reminder of the volatile world outside. But this peace, this tranquility was not to last. Then, out of nowhere, a day like any other turned into a nightmare. It was a surprise attack, one that nobody saw coming. The day had started like any other in Israel, the sun was shining, children were playing, farmers were tending to their crops, and builders were busy erecting new structures. But then, without warning, the tranquility was shattered. From across the border, missiles launched by Hamas rained down on the unsuspecting Israelis. The attack was sudden, unexpected, and terrifyingly efficient. Entire neighborhoods were reduced to rubble within moments, vibrant city streets turned into ghost towns, echoing with the cries of shock and grief. The devastation was immense. Thousands of innocent lives were lost, among them men, women and children who were simply going about their daily routines. Hospitals, those sacred places of healing and sanctuary, were not spared either. The destruction was not selective, it was widespread and indiscriminate. Imagine a family sitting down for dinner, their conversation filled with laughter and love. In the blink of an eye, their world is turned upside down. The house that was once filled with warmth and joy is now a pile of debris. Parents, children, grandparents, they had no time to escape, no time to understand what was happening. Or consider the soldiers stationed at their posts, steadfastly guarding their nation's borders. They were prepared for conflict, but not for this sudden onslaught. Their military training could not have prepared them for the shock of the unexpected attack, the fear, the confusion, the desperation. Everywhere, there was chaos. The air was filled with the acrid smell of burning buildings, the wailing of sirens, and the cries of those searching for their loved ones amid the ruins. The once peaceful nation was plunged into a state of war, a state of survival. This was not just an attack on a nation, it was an assault on humanity. It was a grim reminder of how quickly peace can be shattered, how swiftly life can be snuffed out. Thousands of lives were lost in an instant, leaving the nation in mourning and shock. The impact of the sudden attack was felt across the country. The devastation was not confined to the physical destruction of buildings and infrastructure. The human toll was much more profound, the ripples of which touched every corner of the nation. Imagine a family in Tel Aviv, the Cohens, a family of five who were enjoying an ordinary day when their world was turned upside down. The father, a school teacher, the mother, a nurse, and their three beautiful children, all under the age of 10. Their home, once filled with laughter and love, now stands silent and empty. Let's travel further south to Beersheba, where we find the Levi family, a grandmother who lost her son, a decorated military officer in the attack. She now shoulders the responsibility of raising her three grandsons, instilling in them the values of courage and resilience that their father embodied. And then there's the story of the Goldmans from Haifa, a young couple, both doctors, working tirelessly at a local hospital, treating the wounded and offering comfort to the grieving families. Their commitment to their profession, their patients and their country never wavered, despite losing their own two children. These stories reflect the human cost of the conflict, each family, each individual, bears the weight of loss, the burden of grief. But amidst the rubble, the resilience and strength of the Israeli people shine through. They mourn their losses, but they do not break. They face adversity, but they do not falter. They stand strong, united in their determination to rebuild and move forward. The stories of these families are but a glimpse into the toll of war. Each casualty, each loss, represents a family torn apart, a future altered, a dream shattered, yet it also represents the indomitable spirit of a people, their resolve to overcome, their will to endure. Behind every casualty, there's a story of a family torn apart, but there's also a story of resilience, of courage and of hope. And it is these stories that guide the nation towards healing and recovery. Caught off guard but not defeated, Israel prepared its response. In moments of crisis, the true character of a nation is revealed. 
Israel, faced with an unexpected attack, quickly rallied its resources. The response was immediate, decisive, and unyielding. The nation was shaken but far from broken. The Israeli Defense Forces, known for their discipline and tenacity, sprang into action. In military bases across the country, soldiers were swiftly mobilized. Tanks rumbled to life, fighter jets roared into the sky, and naval vessels churned the waters. This was no time for hesitation or half-measures. The Israeli military, with its well-known reputation for efficiency and tactical precision, was on full display. Take, for instance, the story of the elite Egos Reconnaissance Unit. These soldiers, known for their stealth and endurance, were tasked with infiltrating enemy lines. Under the cover of darkness, they slipped past Hamas defenses and struck critical targets. Their mission was a success, a testament to their training and unyielding resolve. Similarly, the Israeli Air Force played a pivotal role. Fighter pilots flew countless sorties, targeting and neutralizing Hamas strongholds. Their swift and relentless attacks were a crucial part of the Israeli response. But it wasn't just the military strength that was put to the test. The Israeli citizens too displayed an indefatigable spirit. Families who had lost loved ones to the surprise attack rallied together, showing that their resolve could not be broken. They supported each other and the troops, embodying the spirit of unity and resilience that defines the Israeli spirit. Indeed, the Israeli response was a display of determination, strength, and unity. It was a testament to their resolve to protect their homeland and their people. It was a powerful message to their adversaries, a clear statement that any attack on their soil would be met with swift and decisive action. In the face of adversity, Israel responded with remarkable strength and determination. The dust has settled, but the scars remain. In the wake of the sudden and devastating attack, the Israeli landscape bore the deep imprints of violence. Thousands of lives were lost, homes were reduced to rubble, and the echoes of explosions still seemed to resonate in the air. But amidst the destruction, the indomitable spirit of the Israeli people shone through. In the aftermath, the people of Israel, like the Phoenix, began to rise from the ashes. The rebuilding process was not just about restoring the physical structures that were lost. It was about mending the shattered hearts and souls of the nation. The strength and resilience of the Israeli society echoed in every brick laid, in every tree planted. Stories of unity and strength emerged from the ruins. Families who had lost everything opened their hearts and homes to those in need. Communities came together, sharing resources and supporting each other in these trying times. The Israeli spirit was not dampened but rather strengthened by the adversity they faced. In the military the same spirit prevailed. Soldiers, many of whom had lost comrades in the conflict, returned to their duties with renewed determination. Their resolve was not to seek revenge, but to ensure the safety and security of their homeland. The strength of the Israeli military did not lie in their weapons or tactical abilities, but in their unyielding devotion to their country and people. Among the rubble, a schoolteacher found the strength to gather her students in a makeshift classroom, determined to continue their education. A farmer whose fields were scorched began the arduous task of sowing new seeds, his hope for a better future taking root in the very soil that bore the brunt of the attack. These are not just stories of survival, but of resilience, of a nation that refuses to be broken, that rises above the devastation with courage and fortitude, a nation that, in the face of adversity, stands united, its spirit unbroken. From the ashes, the Israeli nation rises stronger and more united than ever. In the end, it was a story of resilience and strength, a tale of a people tending to their land, suddenly caught off guard by a devastating attack. Thousands of lives were lost in an instant, including those of innocent civilians and hospitals. Yet, amid the shock and the sorrow, the Israeli nation rallied. Their response was as swift as it was decisive, embodying the spirit of determination that has long defined them. They met force with force, overpowering Hamas and demonstrating the strength of their military prowess. But this story is not just about military might. It's about the strength of the Israeli people, their tenacity and their unyielding will to protect their homeland. Even in the face of such unexpected adversity, they stood together, united in their resolve. Their resilience shone brightly against the backdrop of chaos, a beacon of hope amidst the devastation. In the face of unexpected adversity, the Israeli nation proved its strength and unity, standing tall amidst the chaos.